there are many facial serums out there today right now picking one particular serum for your skin type and your skin concern can actually prove to be a bit of an issue especially if you don't have a sort of guide which is what i would like to provide you with in this video there are anti-aging serums there are hydration serums there's also anti-acne serums so if you are having any particular skin concern and you are looking for a serum to tackle that issue that is right for your skin type in this video i'll be giving you five different serums that are going to help tackle your skin concerns and are also best suited for different skin types so keep in mind that the particular serums i'm giving you in this video are not for you to use them all they are just for you to pick a particular one and out of the options choose the best ones that are best suited for your skin concern and your skin type so if that sounds like something you want to see more of then keep watching this video welcome or welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here hello my name is IG and if you're a returning subscriber I'm always so glad to have you here so before we dive into the five serums I have for you today let's quickly look at why you need a facial serum in your skincare routine so a facial serum is basically a concoction of active ingredients that are best suited or powerful enough to target specific skin concerns that your face serum your face wash or your body lotion may not be able to target and that is why facial serums are very very powerful because they are powerful enough to target specific skin concerns and deal with these issues if that your face cream or your face wash body wash may not be able to target so let's dive into the first serum that i have here for you guys in this video so the first serum that i have are vitamin c serums so one thing i would say is that i believe that everybody needs a vitamin c serum in their routine like vitamin c serums are just like a staple everybody should at least have a vitamin c serum that they can use because vitamin c serums have so many benefits to the skin i've talked about benefits of vitamin c as an active ingredient especially in body lotions but specifically in serums where they are now um, concentrated enough to target those specific skin issues that you needed them for in the first place so vitamin c serums can actually target hyperpigmentation they can help brighten your skin and then fade scar um acne scars help you with dark spots there are just so many things that everyone can use a vitamin c serum for in their routine like it is just something that everybody should actually have and it can help brighten the skin like i've already said it can help also improve collagen production collagen just helps the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles that is one thing i would say especially if you are somebody who is looking into reducing the uh, signs of wrinkles on their skin this is something that is going to give you a boost in your skincare routine so one thing i would say is that a lot of vitamin c serums out there in the market are not actually as effective as they claim to be because a lot of them do not really contain pure vitamin c and that is why the vitamin c serums i'm recommending in this video might be a bit more pricey than my normal recommendations but i feel like these particular ones are going to be very very effective and they are going to definitely target your skin issues and help you resolve them so the first recommendation for vitamin c serum that will give you in this particular video is the CeraVe bright name vitamin c serum this vitamin c serum several products are actually very very amazing like you guys know i recommend their products their products a lot because vitamin c serums from um from not not all vitamin c serums from um from every brand is as effective as um the ones with pure vitamin c that is why i'm recommending this particular one or you can also get the Naterium um, vitamin c serum this particular vitamin c serums like i said might be a bit on the pricey end but honestly if you are looking for a serum that has enough concentration of vitamin c that is going to be as effective as you need it to be then i will look um at ones that have pure vitamin c concentration and these ones tend to be a bit on the higher end of the prices but nonetheless i believe that if you cannot afford this particular um Naterium vitamin c perhaps look at CeraVe because their products are a bit more affordable but anyway one thing i would say about vitamin c serums is that if you are going to get it just make sure that you get one with pure vitamin c concentration because that is actually what is going to give you what you are looking for another thing i would say is that if you are just going to get any regular vitamin c just make sure to get one that has a concentration between 8 and 20 so that is actually um 8 and 20 percent so that's actually a, right, a good way to know the right amount of vitamin c concentration that you want to use in, in your skincare regimen so the next serum i'm going to be recommending for you guys in this video is a niacinamide serum if you have been following my channel a lot if you have been an og i have given niacinamide serums a lot of publicity i have talked about it a whole and lot. niacinamide also known as vitamin b3 is one particular um particular ingredient that has so many benefits to the skin vitamin b3 also niacinamide they are sometimes used interchangeably so anytime you can see vitamin b3 just know that it is also um niacinamide so one thing i would say is that it helps with skin texture 
niacinamide is also really good with smoothening the skin like balancing oil production so it can help reduce acne on the skin it is also great for all skin types very very mild like one thing i would say is that niacinamide is just one skin serum that you can't go wrong with it's a facial serum that almost everybody can go wrong with and i would say that niacinamide is actually really really mild on the skin which makes it a good combination to combine with any other active ingredients like you can actually combine it with your mandelic acid your retinol like it is just actually very mild use this both day and night without fail like you're not going to get any skin reaction and of course you're supposed to do a patch test before you begin using some of these ingredients but just make sure that you are not allergic to any of these things that watch your skin for any kind of reaction the two serums that i would recommend for this niacinamide serum are two ones that i have personally used because i have used niacinamide serums a lot because i used to have a lot of acne breakouts and i would say that that is one thing that has actually helped me control my breakouts so the first serum i would recommend under niacinamide is the, the ordinary um niacinamide serum that is one serum that i have used a whole whole lot this serum is actually very very nice and your nice niacinamide serum contains 10 percent niacinamide and one percent zinc niacinamide serum is exactly the serum that you're looking for but the one percent zinc is actually going to help your skin reduce signs of inflammation and breakouts then the next serum that i'll be recommending under the niacinamide serum is the um the inky list niacinamide so this one contains 10 percent niacinamide and then 1% zinc. So I have personally used these two um, products. I've actually used the ordinary niacinamide and I've actually also um, used this, the inky list niacinamide serum. And I can tell you now that they are not overhyped. The hype is so worth it. And it's actually very, very effective. The ordinary products are always very nice. I've used a lot of their products and this niacinamide serum is as effective as it claims to be. The 10% niacinamide is just right enough to help your skin combat skin texture, acne scars or acne breakouts. They, um, help your skin with oil production. It can also help brighten the skin. Then the inky list, um, the inky list niacinamide serum also has hyaluronic acid, and that is good for hydrating your skin. Um, I think I actually have my niacinamide solution here. So this is the one that I have right now. I use the other one. I'm going to show that one here, but this particular one is the one that I'm currently using. This is the 20% niacinamide serum by the Inky List Solutions. But this particular one, this can be a bit um a bit too much for somebody with sensitive skin. Even though I do not have sensitive skin, I would recommend that you go for the other one, which is the 10% um, niacinamide solution. But yeah, this is just the, um, the products that I use, and I feel like niacinamide is something that everybody can actually use in their skin routine. So the next serum I have here for you guys is retinol. So retinol serums are one serum that I will recommend, especially if you are looking for an anti-aging serum or you are having acne breakouts. If you have acne prone skin or you are looking for something that is not going to age you, retinol has been scientifically proven to be an anti-aging ingredient. So if you are looking for something to help mitigate the effects of age or rather reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines on your skin, definitely go for retinol. Retinol is targeted at being anti-aging and it's going to help you visibly reduce the signs of aging on your skin. And also if you are um, acne prone, definitely go for um, retinol because retinol can go a long way in helping you resurface your skin and reduce the appearance of acne and acne scars on your skin. Like there's just a lot retinol can retinol do. Retinol is um, a milder form of retinol which is actually very beginner friendly like you can use it as a beginner but this is only to be used at night please remember it is best for night use and um, you can start by using it every other day and then slowly increase your frequency of use and then also make sure to watch your face to see how your skin reacts to it and of course if you get any bad reactions be sure to discontinue using but yeah tretinol can be a bit harsh and um, sometimes you might need a prescription to get that but for retinol it's, you can easily get it over the counter and retinol is actually as effective as it claims to be so the first retinol serum that i would recommend here for you guys is the ordinary retinol serum so ordinary has so many benefits on the skin their products are so so nice they are always coming through but this particular serum i have used this and let me tell you i the night i used it i noticed i was about to have a breakout over here on my skin so i quickly grabbed my retinol serum and i just like soaked that area in retinol and just like applied it on every other part of my face and before i woke up the next morning as i was waking up i noticed that it was as if the swelling there had reduced and the pimple had just kind of like reversed like gone inside that's just the only way to explain it you can also try the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. This is actually as effective as the ordinary retinol serum. So these two retinol serums are so, so effective. And if you are looking for something to reverse the signs of aging, like I said, remember, one thing you need to know about retinol is that it is good for anti-aging and it is good for acne. If there's anything it is going to do for you, it is going to clear the signs of acne on your skin, like reduce your acne to the lowest and then help your skin look younger. So make sure that you get an 
um, retinol serum if that is something that you're interested in getting on your skin so anyway the next serum that I have here for you guys is hyaluronic serums hyaluronic serums are great for dry skin like if you are somebody who has dry skin must know that it is very very hydrating so one thing that can be said about hyaluronic acid serums is that it is very very hydrating and it is good for repairing your skin barrier if your skin barrier is um, damaged or dried out then definitely know that hyaluronic acid is going to help your skin like come back to life it's going to rejuvenate your skin and hydrate it back so i feel like there's a common misconception that it is only for dry skin hyaluronic acid is actually for all skin types and anybody can actually use a hyaluronic acid that is why i like it so much because it is very very mild and it can easily be combined with any other actives that you are using that is one thing you can get you can combine it with niacinamide you can combine it with vitamin c and even retinol you can never actually go wrong with a hyaluronic acid serum that is like the one thing you can have at the back of your mind of all the things you take away from this video just know that that hyaluronic acid is actually for all skin types it is very very mild it is basically a hydrator and you cannot go wrong with it it is just going to add back moisture to your skin and if you are a dry skin person just know that this is a game changer it is actually a like it is a banger if you are using hyaluronic acid serums just know that your skin is slowly going to be rejuvenated and if your skin barrier is already damaged or you are suffering from damaged skin maybe from acne or you have like dried out skin probably from products that are drying your skin then definitely go for hyaluronic acid if you are noticing that your skin is not um, moisturized and it's hardly ever supple that is one thing i would say about hyaluronic acid serums but from this um, particular hyaluronic acid i would recommend once again the CeraVe hyaluronic acid mostly because of the ingredients that it contains it's a great serum and it contains hyaluronic acid vitamin b3 which is your niacinamide and then it also has different ceramides this is one thing that i would say ceramides are basically like the building blocks of your skin so they are just going to help your skin like rejuvenate itself that is one thing you can know about ceramides then for um for this particular service serum i would say that it might be a bit on the private on the pricey end but if you're looking for a good hyaluronic acid serum to get perhaps you can also consider the ordinary hyaluronic acid they also have a hyaluronic acid basically the ordinary has everything and the hyaluronic acid is one that i know that you can actually use my mom uses it and she swears by it so i definitely think that you can get yourself a good hyaluronic acid serum and honestly all will be well with your skin so the last but not the least serum i'm going to be recommending in this video i'm going to call them sort of discoloration correcting serums like if you're having different discolorations on your skin or your skin is not blended your skin color is different you have um, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, you are having acne scars that are making your skin very, very textured or have different skin tones. Then this serum is that um, this particular serum I'm going to recommend in this particular um this particular video is going to help you fight or visibly target this acne or hyperpigmentation discoloration scars on your skin. So the first um or rather the only serum I'm going to be recommending, recommending for this is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. So this particular serum is as effective as they say it is. Like the hype is very very real and it is for a good reason. This serum will give your face a complete turnover. Like it is going to resurface your face under in as little as two weeks you're going to be seeing visible differences. So if that is something that you are looking forward to and you have a lot of hyperpigmentation, acne scars, sunspots, sunburns or any kind of skin damage that has made your face discolored, then definitely go for this serum because it is going to give your face a complete resurfacing and cell tone over so anyway thanks for watching that is all for this video all of the serums i recommended in this video will be linked in the description below so if you are looking to shop these products then you can definitely use my links in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye